So in June, it was announced that the Canadian Council of Bishops and national Indigenous organizations, including the AFN, would send delegates to meet the Pope. The trip was planned for the week of December 18th, but now has been postponed out of concerns over the threat of the new COVID-19 variant. The health and well-being of our delegates, their families and communities is paramount to us, and we will not put anyone in harm's way if we can help it. We did call on the church to make a number of reparations while these interactions are occurring. These immediate actions include returning diocese lands properties back to First Nations on whose traditional lands they are situated, and an investment in long-term healing initiatives beyond their commitment of $30 million, which was announced in September, to make sure that support programs and services are available for survivors and their dependents. Over a hundred years of church efforts have resulted in the destruction of the social fabric of First Nations. And now equal time, energy and resources must be made available to rebuild our children's lives, our families and our communities. I have also on behalf of the AFN executive and I am one of the many national chiefs who is asking and who has asked the Holy Father to renounce and formally revoke the inter the 1493 doctrine of discovery, and to replace it with a new papal bull that decrees that indigenous peoples and cultures are valuable, worthy, and must be treated with dignity and respect. Uh, like many of you, we are looking forward to meeting Pope Francis on the traditional lands here on Turtle Island when he does decide to come and visit us. 